Yeah, welcome to another episode of Art Code Drone Solutions Saturday Night Live number 77. All righty, it should be a good show today. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Autel Evo versus the Mavic Air 2. I got a chance to fly both. Uh, I will be getting a Mavic Air 2 shortly, so uh, really excited to, to get that. And I want to thank Ken Dono and DroneWorks for, uh, you know, giving me a, a Mavic Air 2. I'm really excited. And uh, flying Sean's uh, Mavic Air 2, it is a... It's a great drone. So uh, I've got the Mav er, Mavic Air. I've got the Autel Evo uh, controller. And we'll talk about the differences and some of the things that are better in the Mavic Air 2 compared to the Autel Evo. Hey, I just want to say hello to Steve Mack and Joe Jaybird. Drone Shots, uh, Timeless Truths. Welcome, welcome. All right. Uh, it looks like my girlfriend is messaging me. Okay. She's on her way back. From church. It is Sunday morning in the Philippines, and I'm hoping that uh, James Tanner from My PI Dream will join us in the chat uh, tonight. Uh, so, just a little bit of info. How do I sound out there? Do I sound okay? Does it sound like I'm echoing? How do I sound? Do I sound good? That'd be great. So just waiting for Mitch to pop in and maybe uh, Jim from Above and Beyond Drones. Uh, Sean Oz said he would try to stop by. He's such a busy man. This guy, he just had an, his append, his appendix removed. He had an appendectomy, and he's right back at work. I mean. Boy, I think I'd be taking it easy for a few days to kind of build up my strength before uh, going back to work. So hopefully he'll join us. Uh, Ken Dono, I'm hoping he uh, shows up. I sent him a link, and that would be great. Uh, cool. Uh so how are the Reds doing down there in in Cincinnati, uh, Joe? Uh, I don't even know how the Rockies did. So last night was their home opener. Let's see how they... Uh, Hey, oh, wait a minute. The Rockies won last night. All right, cool. And they play the, the Rangers again today. Oh, they're okay. Oh, they 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 lost last night. Now they're ahead three to one, middle of the eighth. Oh, so they could be back to uh, 500 if they uh, pull out a, a win. So, yeah, so Andrew Siverfox, welcome to the show. So later on in the show, I've got another box of toffee uh, to... For the trivia, so that should be good. So just waiting for 
Mitch and the gang to pop in and uh, Chris Hope. I, hey, uh, Chris and Jeff, I, I wish you uh, 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 safety there because I know there's a hurricane heading your way. So let's welcome our first panelist, Mitch, old guy in a drone. Hi, Art. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, so how's the weather there in Florida? I know you uh, had not, rain the other day. Yes, it, it's not bad. I got out to fly this morning. Awesome. Uh, but it, it, at about 9 o'clock, it just started getting real windy. Fortunately, I went out about 7.30, so I had a little time to fly before the wind really kicked up. But uh, Great. Nah, it's been Great. Uh, it, it's been it's been pretty nice. It's supposed to uh, chances of rain are going up again tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we. Right? Uh, it's cloudy here, and it looks like a chance of rain here as well. But uh, I hate to be in the Houston area where it looks like the <laughs> hurricane is headed their way. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I uh, wow. I wasn't going to come in until later because I'm I'm here as you can see. No green screen tonight table behind me full of full of uh of airplanes oh, and stuff yeah. um cool. uh, i'm up to my elbows and wires and soldering irons so <laughs> <laughs> cool well i i did fly the velocidrone uh, before the show so oh, cool. i i am getting better um most of the time when i'm crashing i'm trying to go through uh the the high rise that's being built that's that's tough. That's not easy to do. No, it isn't. And when I do make it through, it's sure luck because I happen <laughs> to bounce off something. And I'm like, oh, hey, I'm on the other side. Oh, cool. And I'm flying. Yeah. <laughs> you start out trying to fly through the the big. Uh, oh, the gantry. big wheeled. No, no. The, oh, the uh, arch. The, the, the arches and big areas, big big open areas, and practice yeah. on those first, and then and then yep, graduate to the smaller things. The problem with that building when you fly through it, not only do you have concrete columns all over the place, on yeah. the sides, but you got a concrete floor and ceiling. Yep. So you really have to you really have to concentrate on holding your holding your altitude. Stand. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Basically, I'm say, just. Huh? kind of bouncing around and hoping I get out the other side. Well, it took me quite a while and I, you know, to uh, to get the throttle control necessary to fly through that stuff. You know, when you see the, the videos of these guys flying through abandoned warehouses and parking right. garages and things, it, it it all looks easy when you're watching it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, speaking of, of the king of FPV, let's welcome the king himself, Ken Heron. Oh my God! Oh, oh it's me. I, I'm the king. I didn't know You're that. The king. I, I suck at FPV. I just think it's fun. <laughs> you, you must be the king because Art says so. Oh well, if Art <laughs> says it, then it's true. Actually, if you want to see the my king, there he is. It's Chris. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Show him what we're working so you, on. Show them up. Buzz, buzz. Oh, the Cinewhoop. Yeah, it's a Whoop. Uh, remember, I crashed it on a yeah. bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just it's nice to have a pit together. crew. It's nice that yeah, you man. got a pit crew. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you, man. You'd be like a NASCAR driver with a pit crew. Yeah. In, in and out in two days, guaranteed. <laughs> I there saw you. Your, I'm doing good. I, I saw the photo of the DJI... Uh, air unit that got all mashed up oh man oh yeah. yeah 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 um the 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 original air unit that i bought when it first came out i had on my copus and it, i don't know if you remember but i couldn't put it inside where the stacks go i put it on top and i crashed a few times and dented it and i didn't realize that until a couple weeks ago i had to order a new one so oh boy. i always wanted to see inside one so i took it apart and then take, took a picture, posted on Instagram, and threw it away. No. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Mitch? I'm doing great, Ken. Doing great. Good, Flying, good. Flying, building, just having a ball. Yeah. 
Yeah, good. We're we're about to go flying here in a little bit. Oh, cool. 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 Working on. I'm working on this thing. Oh. It's yeah. It, it's it's a a little FPV uh, airplane that has uh, uh, INAV flight controller in it, camera, uh, GPS, fully fully automated. It'll 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 return to home, do everything uh, by itself, and it weighs 250 plus grams. And with uh, two lithium-ion batteries in it, it'll fly for an hour to an hour and a half. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. Even with the Hellfire missiles on it, uh, that oh, especially with those, yeah. Okay. Takes a while to get to the target. This is the, <laughs> this is the flight controller, Ken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Chris. It's a Can it's you? a Maytech Maytech 411 wing SE WSE. Look wow. how small that is. That's teeny tiny. It it is. It weighs nothing. Weighs nothing. Wow. So, how how are you doing uh, with your FPV stuff, Art? Uh, I've been practicing on the Velocidrone. I did uh, practice for about a half hour just before the show. I heard that Sean Oz crashed your FPV drone in a virtual lake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it got virtually drowned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Hey, do you have your your new uh, your Autel nearby? Let me see that. Thing. I, I've got the controller here. Oh yeah. And the neat thing about it is it's got a built-in monitor on here, so you you don't you can fly it without the phone, which is cool. It's kind of like the uh, uh, what is smart controller. Yeah, you can do that with DJI stuff. Not a lot of people yeah. know that. You yep. can fly DJI stuff without the monitor or whatever, or the, mm -hmm. or the app even running. It's not as fun or practical, but you can. And that's by design in, in case, because sometimes an app will crash and you need to be able to still bring the thing back. Right, right, right. But and, uh, uh, have you have you been able to retrieve your air out of the uh, lake? Not yet. I have a guy that that's volunteered to go swim for it so the weather looked kind of crappy today and uh so we're going to try and and uh, go out there tomorrow and uh now hold on a second if it rains what does it matter if you're going to be in the uh water? well <laughs> can we get these uh things called thunderstorms oh the lightning gas yeah so mm -hmm. right. It'd How many kinda, people are watching the stream right now? I mean, we got. Well, well let's see. I'm going to. 14. 14. Yep. Woo. Hello, and one 14 of them is, people. And 14. one of them is Ashley. And then we one have Ashley. Ashley. Listen. It's Ashley. 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 Do you like my gum, Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> and John Coopy is here. John and, is here. Uh, oh, boy. We got a good group tonight. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then RC next Tuesday is here. Oh, new guy. And Nemo is here. Let me show you my my FPV area. Okay. Oh man, it's, look at you. <coughs> You're not fancy, huh? Nice. That's that looks like an FPV workbench, Ken. That's that's how mine looks most of the time. But done it? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm actually editing the video right now where. I fly this at speed into a cement column. So that, that'll be exciting. Oh, is that the one that you've wrecked your session on? Yeah, you, you see the, the FPV cameras. Oh, oh holy it's, cow, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, I've, I've replaced some of these stands because they were all bent back like it was in some horrible traffic accident. Oh, man. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'll show you the session. Let me get some light on it. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. And it's so bad, it's not just the lens. The whole case is cracked. Wow. And the SD card is trash, too? It was such a hard hit, it ruined the SD card. Isn't that oh. amazing? Oh, wow. oh, man. Yeah. And you didn't, I, you you know, didn't buy it. You didn't buy it at Best Buy where you have the replacement guarantee, did you? 
No, no. The, 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 if, hey, if anybody watching has a, a Hero Session Five that they don't want, you know, Amazon sells the Amazon sells the refurbished ones for like one hundred thirty nine dollars. <laughs> but the batteries are terrible. I bought a couple of them, had to send them back. Yeah, that's the thing. If, if there's any in there, and and eBay, but they are the the actual GoPro refurbished ones are hard to find. Cause who was it that bought a hundred of them or something? DRL. DRL bought bought all the ones, all the good ones that were there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because they fix them, but they don't put new batteries in them. These uh, third party refurbishers, so they look brand new and they work, but the batteries don't last. What good is it? Yeah, is it, are they serviceable at all? Can you put a, new, a battery in there yourself somehow if you if you tried? There's a couple of videos on YouTube on how to do it, and <coughs> if you, if you're like a watchmaker in your spare time, you know it's like fixing cell phones. Same same thing to yeah. get it apart. You got to have all the prying tools, and you got to you you know. Po uh, there's a lot of goo and epoxy and sealer and oh, all kinds no, of other I'm crap. Not, oh, yeah, no, yeah. No. As soon as you mentioned goo and epoxy, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. But no, uh, it's hey, not, we're, not a do it. We're having some uh, we're having some beta fun. My least favorite part of the whole equation. Mm. Good, good times. I hate beta flight. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why? <laughs> Why? Learn to love it. Embrace it. Embrace beta flight. Nah. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever. I don't think I. Will. I know I need to eat my vegetables, and I don't do that either. Yeah, well. So anyway, so we're going to get back to fiddling with this, but it was good talking with you guys. Yeah, good thanks good for uh, popping in, Ken. It's always a pleasure having you. And, you bet. Uh, and uh, one of these days, Art. You're going to hop off your stool there, and you're going to go play that grand piano behind you. I know it. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> we just want him to fly his little tiny hawk down around the post that holds up the lid. There you there go. You. Yeah. He won't amazing how the lighting never changes. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you guys. <laughs> All right. Okay. Take care. Bye. Jim. Okay. Bo and bye. 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 Oh, well, that was a surprise. Yeah. Well, Ken, I, you know, I, I was just got comment. a message from uh, Ken Dono. He's going to yeah. be in soon. So you know, I, Art, I, when I first came on, I came on uh, kind of like as a mercy uh, appearance uh, <laughs> because I saw you there by yourself. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I said to myself, I said, why the hell does Art need me? All the big stars come into Art Street. <laughs> And they do. And they mm -hmm. do. Yes, they do. I want to say hello to Bill from Coast to Coast Drones. And, and, and Brian B Mac is here. Brian, John Brian B Mac. And then we got Drone Life RC. See, yeah, yeah. Who else? Steve Mac, how you doing? I didn't say to hi to anybody to chat because I've been busy talking. I see Ken Dono is in here. Nemo, how you doing? Uh, oh, uh, Dean. Miko Ghost is here. Who else did we miss? RCU next Tuesday. <laughs> That's, I like that name. <laughs> Ashley and me. Yep. That's about it. So what do you want to talk about, Art? All righty. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like I said, I've, I've uh, flown the Velocidrone and I'm I'm getting a little better each time. I'm getting a little more confident, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm getting used to uh, the controllers. And uh, so pretty soon, I'll I'll be able to do the real thing with the the tiny hawk and start flying it around the apartment and and see how well I do on that. You should you you can do that simultaneously with the uh, while you're doing the the simulator, wow. of course. You, you know, do a little <clears> sim, <throat> do a little flying. And tomorrow, I got to go out and I got to fly the the Artel Evo. All, although I did fly it last week when Sean was here when he came down to bring this to me, and uh, uh, it's got some cool features on it. the the. The thing, it's got an earlier or a similar version to uh, 
uh, oh, what is that? The AccuSync. It's got their version of AccuSync on it. It'll be interesting to compare it to the Mavic Air 2, which has the AccuSync too. So let's welcome Coast to Coast Drones, uh, Bill Thomas. Howdy, howdy. Like I Bill Thomas, the, the top of Bill out. Thomas's head. Yeah. And we also have another <laughs> king of drones. Let's welcome Ken. Don't know. Fucking wrong button. <laughs> Almost that was a bridge for across the room. Uh, that was well, a good entrance. There's nothing we, wrong with that entrance. We, we have that, 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 that cool, effect. but it just was unexpected. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have that effect. Um, how you how you doing, Ken? Ah, doing all right, man. How you been, buddy? Good. Good, good. Good. this way. Another wonderful night, I guess. It's raining again. Oh. Uh, down over your way right now, yeah, over yeah. here, out, yeah, over yeah. here in Melbourne, it's nice and sunny right now. So uh, yeah, you guys are lucky. You're getting good weather. We're getting hammered with the uh, weather every day this hour. We have 66 degrees here in Everett, Washington, 20 miles north of Seattle. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you get some pretty bad weather up there, Bill. Lots of really funky winds and just like little misty rain most of the time. I can deal with misty rain periodically. No, 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 not periodically. That, that's the difference. Oh, it's all the time. <laughs> well, you never it know. It. Say, like the weather report will say sunny and clear, and then like two o'clock, you'll just sit there, and all of a sudden, it'll be like, and you'll be like, where did this come from? And then twenty. Every time later, I've been in Seattle, it rains like hell every time. <laughs> when I fail, you know, I think Bill Cosby, I was, I was if I remember, said when I was there last year, it never rained. I was actually disappointed. I didn't really? get a chance to see any rain. No, it didn't well, rain. I think Bill Cosby said in Seattle it rains just about 365 days a year, <laughs> every year. <laughs> well, here in Colorado, just wait five minutes and the weather will change. Then. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. It seems to do that, to that here in Florida, too. Yeah, no. they, they yeah to say, is, hey, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. You know, just wait yeah, a minute. That's, that's... I'm trying to so like... I was, Go ahead, Art. I was, I was talking about the Autel Evo... Uh, controller here and one neat thing about that i like is it, it fits my hand really good and oh, that's good. when and when i flew the uh the mavic air 2 that was also uh had a pretty good uh fit for me so i'm really excited to Get that uh, drone, uh, Ken. Wednesday, man. That should be to you Wednesday. I looked at the tracking information. It says Wednesday. Awesome. So, awesome. so you should be you should be good to go. Uh, as soon as it gets there, all you got to do is box it, charge some bats, and get up in the air, man. Yep. Uh, I wanted to tell you also, Art, congratulations on your new Altel Evo. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Went in the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I've only flown the Evo once, and uh, hopefully I, the weather is supposed to be much nicer tomorrow, so I'll get get a chance to fly it. What I'll probably do is do it early in the morning when the when it's really calm, and uh, if I get up early enough, maybe I get a, a sunrise here, which would be kind of cool. That'd be good for you. Yeah, the Evo takes good good shots, man. It's a it's a fun yeah. drone. I always have a hard time with the controller because I always I, I'm a pincher, so the way I rest ah. my hands, the inside of the controller always folds in on me. So I built a uh, I built a bracket to keep it from folding in. Oh, cool. But uh, cool. other than that, I think it's a good drone. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, that the uh, it's got a similar protocol to the uh, the OcuSync, so it that would be cool. It, it does. It e even even more so on the uh, Evo Two. It's got a very very similar protocol to OcuSync, and I think in a lot of ways it's a little bit better in certain instances uh, with with how far it can do in like the city or or dealing with noisy uh, RF environments. It does really well. Right, and 
And that was the concern I had with my old Mavic Air. Is I'd get it up there, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm getting, like, uh, aircraft interference. Mm-hmm. I'm getting all kinds of weird stuff, and it just kind of makes my my butt pucker sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> then I have to look at the screen, and I go, well, it's not crashing, and it's not flying away, so... Uh, until we let Sean good. touch it. Yeah, then I, then I give it to Sean. Then you let Sean touch it, and then everything <laughs> went to hell in a handbasket. So. Well, evidently, the uh, the Fly app, uh, compared to the Go 4 app. Yeah, it's reversed. I guess they, yeah. They yeah, it's reversed. The, I made, I've made that mistake, but, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you <laughs> haven't crashed in the water, which is good. No, I haven't had a crash in the water. Knock on wood. I'll say knock on wood because I'm always flying over water, but I haven't I haven't crashed anything uh, in the water yet. I've hit buildings. I've hit. Um, I've come close. Come close. Wow. No water crashes. All, all, all able to be recovered at least. So, Sean, where are you originally from? <laughs> Sean, uh, there's nobody here by that name. There, there, I mean, no Sean. Oh God, uh, <laughs> just had a brain fart. Uh, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you that originally? That cloud is my dread. Yes. <laughs> uh, um, I'm actually I'm originally from uh, Long Island. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm uh, New York originally. Okay. Yeah, I, I I kind of figured that you were from the the Northeast because uh, you don't sound like you're from Florida. No, I've lived down here what? a while though. I, I should have a Southern accent. I um. I guess I have an adaptable accent sometimes. Sometimes other being around other people rubs off on me. I'll start talking like them. Right. You know, so. But uh, no, I, I, don't have, like, I don't have any Southern draw. Do I sound like I'm from Florida? No, no I'm not. Uh, I don't, Mitch, you sound no. like you're from Virginia, Mitch. Virginia? Yeah, Virginia. Actually, I was so born in Philly. Good neighbors? I'm from, I'm from <laughs> Philly. I'm from Philly. Are you from Philly? Yeah, from Philly. Born okay. And raised, yeah, but... Uh, but I lost most of that. I, I I don't say coffee and on and you know that kind of stuff. My, my mother, my mother still does. She's been down here for twenty two years, and she's still like her and my aunt still have that very New York, yeah, way. coffee, <laughs> aluminum coffee. furl. They say, yeah. you know, they still got that that very northern accent, I guess. Yeah, I left. Do you uh, say I terrible left... or turbo? I say terrible. I, I say ter- I say turbo because Charles Barkley says turbo, uh, and I just like it. <laughs> just ripping on, ripping on oh, Barkley. Yeah. I like it. All right, we got another panelist joining here, all the way from Dillon, Colorado Woods. Welcome, now Sean. Now you say Sean. Now we got the right Sean. Hey, now you got a Sean. Must have heard his ears ringing. <laughs> Sorry, so guys. how are you feeling, uh, Sean? Oh, I feel like that? crap. <laughs> I just tried to work through this, and that was the dumbest decision I could have had. <laughs> you yep. had your appendix out? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> man. Yeah, I drug like yesterday, and I'm back to work today. <laughs> so uh, the drugs uh, Good on you, man. No, I'm taking tomorrow and Monday off, dude. There you go. <laughs> well, how you turn down a quick 500 bucks, right? There you go. Very painfully, right. obviously. Yeah, yeah. Now you said this thing has been bugging you for four years. Yeah. Well, we didn't know what it was. Like uh, there was all these side symptoms and stuff that I'm not going to get too into because some of them are like, Bleh. but wow. uh, you yeah, know, they would send me to this doctor or that doctor or this one. And I, you know, I don't mention this kind of stuff on my YouTube channel. Yeah, you know, I just deal with it and move forward. Yeah. Um, but it had gotten to a point where honestly, it just that was my life dealing with like this weird pain like right so, and and then that sunday i came down and saw you last yeah uh, it was hurting bad enough that i was just like you know what well, we've got some insurance i'm, I'm gonna go to the damn er where they have an mri machine and just Very. see what they say and they were like your appendix looks all inflamed and weird and stuff so you, you can go see this other doctor it's not like it's about to burst but you can go see him and then i went and saw him and he was like you want to remove it and i was like yeah yeah, so done deal. Yeah. So I'm, I'm well, at the I'm, shop, just finished working, and then I saw you were still live. I want to try and catch you guys, and then I'm going to go home and dope up on a bunch of oxycodone. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of it, and probably some weed too. And I don't even smoke weed. 
There you go. <laughs> there, 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 goes, there goes Art's PG rating on his stream. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, legal. it's legal in Colorado. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's legal here. Now we we've got uh, medical marijuana. We've got uh, and we got recreational marijuana. So. Yeah. so you know, I don't I don't smoke it. I don't usually like it, but uh, uh, I do have some stuff that's a powder you can put into like a little bit of water and chug it, and it helps you sleep. Oh, okay. You got the CBD or yeah, something like it. that. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So oh. I don't. I won't be all stoned from it. But I'll take the oxycodone with that. I'm gonna go sleep early. <laughs> Let's just go. Well, you next product. Yeah. You know, it's okay. It doesn't hurt. It's weird because they they put these three incisions, and they put all this air in you and blow your muscles basically away from your intestines, and then they go in from the other side. They don't go in where your appendix is. They go in straight from the other side and go all the way across, and pull it out that way. Did so, they give well, you a video, Sean? Or I mean, I'm just. No, they wouldn't film me oh. a video for it. I, I, oh, okay. I, I, I just, I got a picture. I, I got them to take a picture of it for me. Uh, no, yeah, I saw the picture. I'm like, oh wow. I mean, yeah. You got the. This is a normal appendage. This is mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh holy crap! It's all swollen and crazy, and the veins were all gnarly looking on yeah, it. What, what, what yeah. they say causes that? Ah. Uh, I don't know, man. The, yeah, I've got the a theory. I did, still a little, don't. I did do a little Actually, research. And believe it or not, engorging and a lot of almonds can fuck your appendix up. Really? Yeah. yeah. So um, I can actually trace this back to a night that I had band practice like four or five years ago. And I came home from band practice starving. And my buddy and my bass player and I, we stopped at a little, you know, stop and go or whatever. And I bought like this giant thing of almonds and I just gorged them the whole way home because I was starving. Uh. And then I was sick as hell. My stomach felt like it was exploding. And it was a lot more to it that uh. I might make a video about. <laughs> but uh, I feel like now looking back on everything, that might have been the moment that this haul started. Yeah, I'm going to need to get alcohol. <laughs> the California mm. almond farmers, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, and watch out for fruits and vegetables with a lot of little tiny seeds like strawberries, raspberries, tomatoes, because now you could be susceptible to uh, diverticula. Yep. Yep. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. I had Every my colonoscopy about five years ago, and uh, they only found a couple of little, uh, little, uh, little spots there. So, this is too much information, Art. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm, I'm watching Ken's face right there. Yeah, too it's much colonoscopy. Too much, His eyes. Too much like, information. What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. once you turn but, fifty, yeah, that's tell when, me about it. You know, you guys start. <laughs> oh, having I've, had three, balance, I've had three of them already. <laughs> That's funny. There's a guy. There's a guy in the chat named Nemo. I used to go by Team Nemo when I did all my airbrushing for RC cars for all the like uh, race guys. Uh, and then no Nemo. The um, the uh, this had nothing to do with the. <laughs> did Sean freeze? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It looks like he froze. Yes, John. Yeah. Or he's doing it. He's on. doing one of those. We got the thinker going on. Yeah. Ken, are you okay? Looks like he froze too. What's that? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. I'm just talking with you. Yeah. Hey, I want to say that? hello to. Uh, I don't know how Tinder. Sean's internet Rick Halbert. is so bad he freezes hey, on Rick. something that doesn't ever freeze like StreamYard. <laughs> <laughs> Sean could freeze on anything. He's putting uh, us on. He's he's just sitting there like that, right? No, no, he's no. <laughs> he's frozen. He's like ice. Uh, Maybe YouTube well. censored him too much about you know the stuff oh, in his ass or whatever. Um, oh my man. <laughs> so, uh, so Ken, how old are you? I am uh, thirty-five, man. Thirty-five. Oh, thirty-five. Yeah. Okay, you got children. You got a ways to go. I'm a young gun still. Some children. of that old guy stuff. You're all all right, so let's welcome back to our stream. There we go. The frozen one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sean I, know, Oz. I switched my internet connection to a different internet. So. Ah, uh, okay. In midstream. Wow. 
No, no, I did it once. Everything froze on my screen, and I didn't know if everybody froze or if it was just me, so I just decided to switch it. <laughs> you got all your streaming stuff figured out there, Sean? Mostly. Uh, it's not exactly perfect, because I'm still having to hear the audio from the monitor, um, and then I have to monitor myself here. Um, yeah. The camera's working when we got it on manual that fixed all the stuff that was on Yeah, the that's what I was saying. The picture looks mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Yeah, everybody looks sharp, which is good. Yeah. I'm look I'm thinking about looking at uh Stream IO switch to oh. for my streams. Yeah, yeah somebody Probably recommended it last night. I mean, uh, we talking about uh of something for the Mac. What was that one called? Oh, uh, that was Ecam Live. Ecam Live is for Mac. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to have to look that one up. Streamer you know, does a pretty damn good job though if you pay for these. Streamer does do a good job. I mean, if they do full HD, I would use it. Yeah, they only do 720, I think. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and there's a, supposedly there's a reason. So upgrade to 1080. Are yeah, they upgrading they up, 1080? If they upgrade to the 1080. The minute they do, I will likely switch. I'll pay for StreamYards at that point. Well, it's 25 bucks a month. I'm paying for it myself but, but, right but now. But here, here's the thing: they need to add the big thing that I need is a lobby. Like they need to have a proper lobby. Like Explain. when you, so like you have scenes. Like XSplit has scenes. You like my, have my starting scene. I'll let that sit there and clock and loop. While I'm waiting, you know, while I'm testing and prepping things or getting people set up um, in the stream, uh, they have like, so I have look at my window, I have my live scene, and then I have my scene that I'm prepping before it goes live. Gotcha. So it's a broad oh, like OBS okay. has, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, OBS so, or uh, VMix, which right, I VMix. use. VMix yeah, and with good. StreamYard, Ken, um, you can't, I haven't, uh, my uploading video, that little intro I always have on my videos, it's in StreamYard, so I can play that. I can have something else going in the background. V VMix was really good, but it's expensive. How much was that one? VMix is like 700 bucks for HD, and you can only bring in one guest. Ooh, yeah. Well, yeah. well I honestly think 25 a month for StreamYard is a little high, because like within a year, that's going to be, you know, a pretty penny. Yeah. Well, think about it like this: if you're using this for, for your channel, it's at the end of the year. Any anything I use for my channel, like I pay for XSplit, it's twenty five bucks every three months. That's a write off. Yeah. It's a write off. Well, the the, uh, the new electric skateboard that I just bought is uh, a write off. <laughs> right. You need you need to have write offs to offset the offset earnings. You know, to make it still seem like a hobby. So that's yeah. that's the way I do it. <laughs> but everybody everybody runs it differently. So did I already miss the, uh, I saw your title art was something about the Mavic Air 2 and the Autel Evo. Did you guys already talk about that? Yes, yeah, so I was talking about. He was just telling us about... how much he loves, he loves the Evo, man. He's, did, he was did just you yeah. fly it, Art? Uh, I haven't uh, flown it again yet, other than that time that uh, when you were down here. Uh, but I'm going to fly it tomorrow when the, the weather's a lot nicer. Now, now keep uh, in mind, if you crash it, then I get the Air 2. <laughs> <laughs> we told him he, he's getting to keep both john what are you talking about that yeah, was part of the deal yeah i don't know yeah, you, you was, said he was keeping the, the evo back that's i'm not an indian guy terms yeah. of yeah. john and contracts etc etc clauses you know yeah. this guy yeah, once okay, i hit 4k okay. there's the giveaway i'm giving away no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> hey rick albert good to see you <laughs> that's fun Gosh. John, ten toes get here some too. rest. Say hi to yeah, ten toes. Tom. Hey, Tom. Good to see you. <laughs> so and Michigan Adventures. Quick, if you get a chance, yeah. Art. I wanted to tell Ken Dono, uh, thank you very much, sir, for a very entertaining drone bruise last Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> it was very, very entertaining. You're welcome. Uh, I had Sean, Sean to thank for that. Sean got me drunk in four hours, so there was that. <laughs> you can't blame that on me. You oh, I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you. I'm taking you down. Taking you down. Drink, drink. Like, hey, what you do, Sean? I watched that back, and I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, what were you thinking? But we'll leave it. We'll leave it because <laughs> I, I firmly believe in leaving things alone. But uh, I, uh, I did go fly with uh, what's the shithead name? Um, uh, I did go fly with him. I showed up there. His name was Dan. Is that what? It was? Oh, Dan. Oh, did you go oh, to fly okay. with Dan? I did go fly. I ended oh, up ripping the. Uh, there was. Uh, they had a crane out there. It was actually it was pretty awesome. fun. I heard the video was great. Yeah, they had. They had a. Uh, had a crane. I thought that was awesome. Then you can go like they had an open like I don't know if it was the JC Pennies that was tore down, but you can like sort of fly into it and then fly out of it. 
nobody was oh, wow. i don't think any, nobody seemed to be doing that i did i was like well if it breaks i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go in there and grab it cool so i don't know but you need it's, it's a great show you need to check it out if you haven't already watched it they skipped to about remember. two hours or two hours and ten minutes in i didn't even know where it fell apart of me and it we was out the audio and the mic, and then you just get whoa, <laughs> it goes crazy. It was, it was falling apart about the two hour mark. It was just strategically going downhill. <laughs> oh, what we lost, our, oh, we, we, lost, we, lost we lost the host. Our, How does that happen? Are we still Michigan live? Keep going? Says, who won the box? Yeah, stream match. yards keep stream yards will keep going, oh, for a while, even if, even if the, the host match? goes away. What's huh, that? That's interesting. The, that boxing match actually happened. No, no, he wants they want they want to oh, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wants yeah. me. He wants me to box his friend that weighs like <laughs> three hundred and fifty pounds. Now I'm back. Now on, on a good day, I weigh maybe two fifteen. On a good day, so I mean, I, I I guess I mean I guess if I just run circles around the ring, I mean inevitably he's going to run out of air. I, I have good cardio, so I mean I'm sure I can outlast him like that. Just keep running back and forth and just take a good shot when I get a second. So. I mean, like he wants to do like an official in a ring and stuff. Yeah, he he said he wants to do it for ch charity or something. I mean, five hundred bucks is nothing, man. No, like, like that's to me that's not enough. I mean, you want me to get into a ring and like get smacked around by a three hundred pound guy? I mean, okay, <laughs> but five hundred dollars isn't going to do a dent for charity. Yeah, nope. yeah. He's just doing it because he wants to see you get smacked around. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get smacked around. You know me, dude. I'm going to fucking take sucker punches. I'm going to punch the guy in the nuts and then take him out in the face. <laughs> I, but you're not supposed to do that if it's an official. I know that, but it's not a sanctioned event. Afterwards. It's not a sanctioned event. It's not fair about a fight. Okay. I mean, I didn't say it was a fair fight. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the way you do it. I mean, you just. And then you follow him home and rape his wife, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I went too far. That was... <laughs> I don't know where did that come from. Right? <laughs> I forget I said that. I was, I, was I was trying to make a joke. PG Arch, Arch past R now. He's going past R now. Jesus, Sean, you just <laughs> think of him. He dropped the value of the screen. I don't. That was. I don't. That was, Ken said that. That wasn't me. No, I did not. <laughs> yeah. Dobo is the one who talks like that on his show, not me. Never. I'm never nice in a day. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord, man. <laughs> So oh. the, that's what we get to do Make now. Watch, we, right? Oh, sorry, it was a donut moment. Stop saying that stuff, kid. Donut moment. I almost prefer when he was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him how offended you are, yeah. Ken. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know offended. I I don't even know offended <laughs> starts here. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Look. Oh, he's no. <laughs> Now, back when I was doing stand-up comedy, I I worked with a comedian who was a professional fighter. Before he uh, got into comedy, uh, his name is John Penny, a funny, funny guy. But he, he was a boxer, and there was this this one match where he was he was getting pummeled, and, and uh, John John's a big guy, and he he finally had enough of this guy, and he just got him right in it. The dick. And, Go ahead, say and, it, Art. Say it. Say it. Oh, yeah, well, Sean, man. Sean went right from stand up comedy hey, to, hey, to, hey. To, to knock down comedy. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was, uh, yeah, that was you. Now, uh, you probably heard the story about there was a comic uh, in Louisiana who, who had a heckler in the front row and he had, he's playing his guitar and he's, you know, having this back and forth with this guy. He, Finally told him, you know, hey, these people paid money to see me and not to hear crap from you. And this guy went on. He heckled him. He goes, all right. He took his guitar and smashed him in the head with this guitar. <laughs> and you can find it on uh, YouTube. It's still uh, up on YouTube. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. You ever see the video of Glenn Danzig getting locked out? No. You know who Danzig is, right? You know, he's the musician oh, yeah. here from the Misfits Dude. and then Dude, his solo me. Danzig. And, yeah. uh, you know, he did all that punk rock stuff and he comes off like he's a big, tough guy. He's all buff and everything. And one of the bands that was playing with him, there's a video. You can find it on, on YouTube. Just lays him out one punch, gets sick of his shit, I guess, because he's like, you know, 
the headline act and was, I guess, <laughs> being a dick. But he just got laid out right backstage. Oh, so got man. I'm <laughs> sure that they didn't get to finish the tour with him after that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Cigar Nation Warriors, welcome to the show. AZ Drone Dude. John so, got the date for his Marmot frame. It says Wednesday the 29th. Marmot. That's Marmot. There we go. Thank you, sir. Well, oh, I got one. FPV illiterate I am. I, um, oh, no actually, I went and did some flying today, actually. I flew. I finally got a chance to try my 6S out. It was a little windy, though. It was getting blown around, but it flew pretty good. I have yeah, not fly. We're trying to convince a friend of ours to go digital, and he's just not having any of it. It's um, uh, I, uh, I flew I flew digital there. I got a chance to uh, fly around some horses, which was pretty cool. Well, Mitch knows Gary. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm never going digital. I'm never nah, going dig digital. Digital is actually it's for me. It's it's really good. Oh yeah, I mm -hmm. love it. I love it. I um I go back and forth because some of the quads I have, I'm I'm just too lazy to convert them to digital. But I have a three inch that I've never, I haven't flown in a while. I'm thinking about converting another five inch to digital. And just let her go. Just cannibalize the three inch and make it into a uh, another five inch digital. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I've got, I got one of those uh, Cadex uh, DJI. I broke the first Vista I had. I had a Cadex Vista. I just put a Cadex Vista in my 6S build, and when I was installing it, you know how the the there's like optic uh, wires right, you know, on the connection to the Vista. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. I don't know what it got caught on, but it got caught on something and I tore two of the optical. Oh, you tore the, the little tiny. Leaf yeah. The so and I didn't know it till I get it all together and I power it up and I'm not getting any image. I'm like, what the heck? And then I look down at the wires. I'm like, crap, there's two of them. I'm like, of course, two of them are enough to, to cause oh, no, no video. Feed. Kill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One will definitely kill it. So um, oddly enough. They're they're easy to replace and they're cheap. They're like nine bucks for the for the op. Uh, they call them coaxial cords, and yeah. um, it's the it's a little more fidgety to replace those than it is on the air unit. Mm. Well, I've never I, I got one and I've had it for a couple of months and I and I haven't put it put it in anything yet. And I think I'm going to put it in a fixed wing in in a INAV you know yeah. FPV fixed wing because uh, the range on those things is just awesome. And um, uh, what's have that, that the, kind uh, of vid the vistas? Well, either, either or the, the I don't the, know. The I'm not getting really the, good range. I'm not getting really? great. Range. Yeah, I'm not getting great range out of it. I'm gonna bump it up. I'm gonna try 1200 milliwatts tomorrow, um, and see how far. Because I've got crossfire cool. and everything. You know what, Ken? If I I find that if I'm uh, like I was out flying today, and and because uh, I've been playing with the new 50 megabit uh, stuff, seeing how it yeah, be, and I have it in high quality 50 bit, so. It's real. I'm really getting a, a beautiful picture in the goggles, and and I found that if I, if I just kept flying it straight away from me, without anything between me, you could go forever. But the minute I got it like behind me and behind eight or ten yeah. trees, that's when I started I, to get the de the see, degradation. <clears throat> see, I have. I ended up just putting the True RC stubbies on here. Cause I tried I was thinking I, about them. I tried the menace, um, the menace antennas first, and I didn't like the patches because they were just a little too directional. So I'm using these, and these work really, really well. I don't know if Do they? Focus. I've heard I've heard people say that uh, uh, they really don't get much more performance than the no. standard DJI's. They just like them because they're they're a third of the size. They don't. They're a third they, of the know, size, and I, I just find that I don't have. It, I I feel like they they do a better job. When it's behind me. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. When what it's do behind they cost? Me, what's that? Um, it was like what? sixty-four bucks that pyro drone. Okay. Okay. Sixty-four bucks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still so. using, I'm still using the standard DJI, Ant Man looking, looking goggles, and then I yeah, got the I, I, I got put the, the TBS Fusion on the front. I put you know? the I put the Digi adapter on, but then I ended up I switched from cro uh, I switched from Rapid Fire to the Foxier Wildfire. Yeah. Uh -huh because I feel like it does better in the goggles. Like it doesn't change the auxiliary signal when I switch bands. The rapid fire changes the signal and I lose, I, I lose what I'm seeing. It goes, it like switches oh, okay. back to AV. Well, I've got the fusion, the, the TB, the fusion, TBS fusion. How, how do you module. like those? Uh, it's, it's, 
you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I've never been a fat shark guy, so I haven't had any experience with, yeah. with the goggle modules. But uh, it's the pictures that I get analog are gorgeous, and the DVR in this thing is 60 frames a second. The DVR recordings of my analog flights are fabulous. So yeah, I can't I, I'm gonna start just using this. I have a set of fat shark attitudes that I use like just for convenience, but the DVR in the fat sharks is just terrible. No, it's not. I can't wear those things because of my because of glasses. So for me, it's either box goggles or the D, the DJI. Yeah. And for, fortunately, the DJI fit perfectly over over glasses. And I can't I can't even if I got diopters for it. You know the lenses. Yeah. Because I have a prism correction, I would have to have some fairly expensive custom made set of lenses i couldn't just yeah. use the off-the-shelf lenses so i i gave up on on those kind of goggles and but yeah, the a lot dji of people, answered that uh, yeah we'll see if they make another set of goggles this year or bring out any, i think they will though this well, year uh, yeah i think we'll see I, or i think we'll see another set of uh, something else for the fpv world i don't think they're done no i think they're oh, going to yeah, come out with one with, a, with this year yeah i no, think, I think they're, they're going to come out I think they're oh. going to come out with goggles with, with, anal with built-in analog. Is, I think is so, I think so too. Right. They're going to come in, out with built-in analog, and it's... I think there'll be smaller goggles than what we see today. Okay. But, thanks. I love but guys, it. I'm going to jump I... off really quick. I got to get to another stream here, but I will okay. see everybody later. See you All right, later. Ken, take care. Bye, guys. See you, Ken. Thanks for the opportunity. Drugs. Give me, drugs. give me, give me some, give me some, give me some drugs. Yeah. That's oh. what I'm going to go home and take in a minute. <laughs> I'm just flying in the room. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hey, guys, I oh. think I'm going to split, too, because I'm not feeling so great. I'm going to get yeah. out of here home because I don't right, want to well, take Well, I hope you feel better, buddy. Thanks for uh, coming in, and uh, you go home and uh, take care of everything and hope you feel better soon. I appreciate it, man, and enjoy flying that Evo. Let me know how it goes. All right. All right, guys, you guys have Will a great do. night. Bye, everybody in the chat. Let's see if I can figure out how to kick myself out of here real quick. Oh, well, I'm trying to catch that. up, trying to catch up with everybody that's come in. Mel, Mel's come in. Uh, Agent K is here. Chris Hope just came yep. in. Yeah, Chris wow. Hope. Wow. Guys sneak up on you when you're not looking. Yeah. How are you doing, everybody? Mm hmm. Wait a minute. Agent, this is for Agent K. Say hi to Spank. <laughs> cool. I mean, that's controlled. What is it? It for autopilot. It flies. It, it flies itself. Wow. <laughs> neat. That's neat. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to, to test out uh, how long the batteries last on the uh, Evo compared to the uh, Mavic Air 2 and uh, the camera where the 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 Mavic Air 2 has HDR which I mean it's phenomenal you know when when I took that video from the the lake on that fateful day uh, I didn't edit anything I just put it out there I didn't mess with the video i just <laughs> you know you put it all together and it turned out really nice right all right we'll um, be here no. <laughs> well see the art it's back to just you and me again yeah mm -hmm. you know what i'll do all the, the start the celebrities oh. the celebrities come yeah and there the celebrity we go. and the celebrities go <laughs> yeah they talk Such to us life. little people such All as right, life. there now. Such now life. he's back. I'm going to walk her in there and give her a jacket. I just meant I was leaving room for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this y'all are making because this is the Cheerson CXOF. It has optical flow, guy. Oh, oh so you just wow. kind of it just kind of plants itself, huh? Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. That's that's tiny. You can't find them anymore, man. I got I got this one. Give, believe it or not, like two years ago for eight bucks. Now they're like sixty bucks. Oh wow, God. that's amazing. I guess I'm gonna have to live without one of those things. What about you, Art? <laughs> yeah, I still got an e uh, tello to give away. 
Like this? One say. You mean like this tello? You mean like this tello that I haven't flown in like a year and a half? This one? <laughs> or let's see. Yeah, I'm inching closer to fifteen hundred. I keep bouncing around uh, fourteen twenty. I'd I'll, I'll get up to fourteen. Show us how big it is. <laughs> I don't even know how many I got anymore. Let me look. I don't. I don't look at it that much anymore. I, I, I don't. You know, once do. once every week or two, I I manage to glance at it. But uh, I find if you watch <laughs> it every day, up one, down one, up one, that drives you nuts. I just I just know that that hell will freeze over before I'm able to monetize, so I'm not worried about it. Anymore. <laughs> I have eleven hundred and fifty-seven art. Wow. So I got a long way to go to get to that uh, to get that one million subscriber mark. Yeah. <laughs> I figure at this rate I'll be a hundred and eighty seven years old when that happens. Hey hey Art, can I make like an announcement while I'm here? Sure, go ahead. Well, I appreciate that. This coming Wednesday on Drone Therapy, we're going to do volume three of Drone Therapy Goes Rogue, but we're also going to have our, you know, monthly support your local drone channel show. So what we've done is combine the two and it's going to be support your local drone channel clickbait edition. So we're going to highlight your channel. And then while we look at your channel, we're all going to try to create the best clickbait video for your channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was just wanting to let everybody know it should be fun. It'd be a lot of laughs doing something like that. So it should be there a you go. for everybody. So <laughs> I just want to get the word out for that, that. That anybody new, you know, come by, we'll show off your channel and stuff, and then we'll have a little fun too while we're at it. Cool, 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 cool. I, speaking of clickbait, I saw something that just today that, that floored me. I, I actually was beyond belief. In my in my feed, you know, you get you, everybody gets their feed, you know, a recommended videos to watch. Okay, so I'm flicking through my feed, looking for video watching. Up comes a a clickbaity looking thing with a with a just a knockout looking bikini uh, girl on it. Okay, <laughs> and it 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 had 87 views. And it was a couple months old, and I said to myself, "There's something, something doesn't jive here." Because yeah. every other hot bikini girl thumbnail has a million views. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out how come this particular, because I, I know whoever whoever the channel was did it on purpose to try to get only got 87 views on this thing. <laughs> Can't figure that out. Ah, really well, you gotta check out uh, Naomi Wu. She's the cyber cyber tech yeah. Chick. yeah. I haven't heard yeah. her name in a long time. Though. Yeah, she's not out since, of not China. since the last time you not since the last time you mentioned it, Art. You you fascinated <laughs> with, with the the sexy cyborg, right? It's, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what yeah, they she, call the sexy cyborg? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she does oh, like technical she, reviews, scantily dressed and uh she's got like yeah. gazillions of subscribers. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tater says that bikinis don't work. He put one on and nobody clicked his either. Well, that's what happens. Is is uh, I can't get away with that. If I if I put on did that, I'd lose half the subscribers I have. Oh, unless you're Ed from Love My Drones, then you got your that, your G-string show, your speedos, your yeah, speedo was, show, that was, yeah. That was the funniest damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, I don't even want to even imagine you just. <laughs> well, well, you don't know the story, you know Ed from Love My Drones. Okay, yeah, so he does these, he does Drones. he does these live flies at his house, and okay. Carlos is always uh, his wingman. You know, Carlos is on the stream, and he he kind of acts as a he and helps and helps Ed find the drone by replaying the video when it crashes in a tree somewhere, trying to direct him to. So at any rate. Uh, somebody came up with the idea and it happened before I got there. But, but Carlos said that if Ed would go out and fly wearing, wearing a speedo, he would send them a tiny Hawk too, a brand new one. Oh, wow. <laughs> so Ed, so Ed, so Ed took him up on it, but Ed not, not having a speedo took his shorts and gave himself a, a cosmic wedgie with him, you know, <laughs> and then took some, and then so, took some tie wraps 
and tie wrapped them so that they stayed that way. And it looked like he was wearing the, some abomination of a diaper. But whatever it was, he went outside and he flew four full flights oh, outside man. his house with this. <laughs> Did he call yeah. Oh hawk? yeah, absolutely. So he got the he got the tiny. Not only did he get the tiny hawk, but Dan from Drone Pool sent him a pair of bikini underwear that were like red, white, and blue American flags. <laughs> oh wow! It was it was it was yeah. But the problem with it is now you know anybody that watched it has this image burned into their brain that'll never go away. <laughs> Found it. Well, oh, Rick, you'll have to join Mitch tomorrow night and he'll straighten you out. Oh, what is Rick saying? Playing with my controller today for three hours, didn't get anywhere, watch five different videos. <laughs> ah, oh, no. Oh. Rick, we'll fix it. Tomorrow night, we'll see if we can figure out what's going on with the controller. Yeah. Sean and Ken already took off, but I wanted to ask you guys have you all seen what they're going to do with the Scotty O2 now? Where they're going to add the enterprise skills, so you're going to get that super zoom and all and the, yeah. house, the house scan and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard about that. They're going to make it like a parrot package. I guess we know how parrots going to stay in the business. They're not going to make consumer drones anymore. They're just going to sell packages to Scotty. Wow. Well, oh, I mean, I'm just that's because they're offering it in their to, to S2 users. You'll have to pay. Did Mitch freeze? Okay, he was no. a heat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Everything's just like, uh. But anyway, uh, supposedly you'll pay like $60 or so, and then it'll, no, Art, I got you. You're breathing. <laughs> I, can see your, I can see your nostril flaring. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you can pay like 60 bucks, and you'll get those three new features, So, which is interesting. I love the Zoom, man, because you can see that guy, and he actually, you can see him. He's got like an automatic rifle when it zooms in on him. And I was like, wow. Wow. But it uses but all the camera somehow. We're not supposed to be spying. Remember that that's our great defense against people that hate drones or, 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 <laughs> or uh, accuse us of spying is that, well, we're not spying. We're up there looking at uh, scenery. And now with zooms, people are going to start spying. It's going to make it, it's going to make it worse. I got a feeling, though, that the Beyond Line of Sight drones are going to have very similar items on them, and they're going to zoom in on everything. Yeah, we wouldn't dare fly a Beyond oh. Line of Sight now, would we? No, never. Mm -mm. No. Only well, problem you know, is guys, real good any damn way, so I can only fly 50 feet. <laughs> <laughs> the guys, the guys that do the fixed, the fixed wing. You know, I started, I, I got, a, you know, started doing the the fixed wing uh, FPV stuff. Um, these guys are flying 15, 20 miles away with some of these little airplanes. That's a, a definitely out of line of sight, but it, it, it's, it, I mean, it's an, it's incredible. And yeah, uh, using, yeah. using like using the lithium ion, making. I made one of my own here. And it sounds like it would be gorgeous too. I mean, you think it would be a gorgeous flight too, all that way. Yeah, I made I made this little uh, two cell lithium ion pack. Out of, you know, I just made it. Yeah, I just made it and soldered it all up and put heat shrink around it. And this thing fits in that little that little Zod drift, that tiny little airplane. Huh. These are thirty. Cool. These are thirty five hundred milliamp cells. How long so is that? It'll fly for an hour to an hour and a half with this. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so cool. You can see so, why people would fly that far. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys, it's about that time. It is time for... Toffee Trivia! <laughs> All right, guys. You know how, how it's done. I'm going to give out a trivia question, and the first person to answer gets a free box of yummy Enstrom almond toffee. Bill, you are eligible, so uh, be quick. Okay, All right. Since Sean said that about almonds, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny? He was uh, he won the week that he was down here. Oh wow. So I wonder if I'm oh, I see over the edge. Did I close that? I don't. 
Anyway, all righty. Uh, this is fairly easy. Uh, okay, th this World War One flying ace, his uncle built a house here in the Denver metro area. Who is that person? All you have to do is just give me the last name. To begin with an R? World War I flying ace. Begin with an whose, R? His uh, uncle or cousin built a house and lived here in Denver. Does it begin with an R? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> sort of man, just guess. I don't want to win, but I, I mean... I, I, oh, he doesn't want to win. No, no, because... Well, quick, tell me. Let somebody else win. I, I gave everybody a clue. Tater. Tater got it? No, he didn't. Oh, so, so, it, didn't be, so it didn't begin with an R. <laughs> Not saying. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously Tater didn't get the answer then, so we don't know if now it's you talking about are you talking about a German or an American? Yeah, you, that's up to you. You got to. Well, nobody's got the right answer. Gets what he's saying. Well, if it if it's not an American, then uh, then Steve Mack is fairly close. Uh, Steve already won. He was the last winner. Yeah. Okay, so whatever Steve Mack said, so you say Richthofen Castle or yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. That's it. The Red Baron. The Red Baron. I thought you were talking okay. about Rickenbacker. I thought you were talking about was, Eddie Rickenbacker. Who was the winner? Uh, was it Ten Toes? It was who? Tater said Toes got the, it, He's got their last name, so. Baron von Richthofen. Yep. Huh? Yeah, the name of the 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 building is the Richthofen Castle. You're in Denver, Colorado. No kidding. So, uh, so we confirmed that it was. Uh, that it was uh, Ten Toes that got it. Richtofen. Looks like he's the first. Oh, wait a minute. Steve Mack is the first one. All right, Steve. Yeah, he said he'd pay the shipping if he wins. Okay. Steve. All right. <laughs> Rick Tobin he's getting Castle. tired of watching he's... you eat his. He's getting tired of watching you eat his candy. <laughs> All right, Steve. Uh, you are the winner. So. Uh, I will get that out to you Monday. Cool. Steve, you says, send know it to, Steve says to send it to Ten Toes. Ten Toes? All right, Ten Toes. Just give me your address and I will uh, ship it to you. So congratulations, Tom. Cool. All right, back to our regular program. <laughs> Uh, here we are, all right. So, so who, who didn't we have? We had we had uh, we had Ken Heron earlier visit, and we had Ken, uh, Ken, Dono Ken Dono visit, and we had Sean Oz, Sean Oz, visit, and and Bill Thomas from coast to coast. Bill Thomas, all big all big stars. Mm -hmm. Where's uh, all we need is Kelly now? Kelly Short. Yeah, well, bad. Kelly yeah. was on last week, wasn't he? Yeah, Kelly he, was Shore? He, he was on Sunday, uh, last Sunday on, on our deal. Oh, on the, yeah, that's... On the FPV workshop, yeah. And I think he was on my channel a few weeks ago. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I hang out with you, Art. Introduction, uh -huh. I get, inter See, I get yeah, introduced to all know, the big I, I know some people, you know, yeah, hang yeah. out with me. <laughs> Cigar is gone... Wife yelling, dinner on. God bless everybody. Cigar Nation Warriors, thanks for coming in. Good to uh, see you. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you want? The... Well, Ten At Toes, you're, 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 my, uh, you're on Facebook. Just uh, do a private message that way. Oh, I had to go retrieve my wieners. Ooh. And Jody's here, Drone Shots. How you doing? <laughs> 
Good to see you. So you have uh, two of them, right? One is Sparky and the other one is... Bugsy. She's the one with the blue eyes. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Sparky's the wire, wired hair, soft, high bald, and Bugsy is the double dapple high bald. Ah, uh, okay. Speaking of Wiener One. Oh. <laughs> but where's <laughs> Ashley? Ashley, you're missing the, the pity doll. I think Ooh, Ashley is puppy. gone. She hasn't been here in a while. Yeah. <laughs> And Art, I think, I uh, hate to leave you in the lurch, but I have a lot of work to do here. So All right. You, well, um, unless you, you guys, unless you guys want to watch. Always you a pleasure watch me, having you. you. I don't think, I think everybody's solder. cool with watching you work too, Mitch. Go ahead. Just hang out. <laughs> done. You guys can watch me solder. Uh, it, 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 well, it's gonna Bill, be I have a tonight. friend who has a... Uh, 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 a chi, a chi, uh, a chi hound, or a, a doc wawa. A doc wawa. Wow. Yeah. I'm not sure what a doc wawa. I, is. I'm not a dog person, so on that note. I'm oh, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you all later. <laughs> take care. All right. Take care. <laughs> see you tomorrow night, everybody. Okay. Bye -bye. Take care. Yeah, she has a dog that's part chihuahua, part dots. Oh, very cool. Yeah. We call them Chewinies here. Chewinies. That, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, so you want to see something neat? Let me sure. Show you uh, so we just closed, or well, we formal got the approval for the rental and everything. We're going in on Labor Day. We've rented a house and we're going to go and it's on a lake above the, on the, it's on the water and right next to the water. And I get to fly drones and get the heck out of Dodge for a few days and kind of cool. live life for a little while. So I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like. Awesome. You have to share it though. You, can you oh see that yeah, picture? that's, that's right. Ooh. That's the house we're renting. Let Ooh, me give you some nice. the here. See, there's the dock coming out into the lake. There's another show. And you can tell all these have been taken with a drone. Oh, is that uh, Lake Washington or Lake Union? Uh, it's Lake Godwin up further up north. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the house inside. <laughs> Sweet. See that lake? Look at that lake, man. Yep. Let me get my other side. Mm -hmm. Pool. Pool, yeah, I like the, the family room. Well, nice the only the reason I know about the Seattle area is that's where my sister is from. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot yeah. it. No, ping pong table. Oh, cool. And, and my, my dad worked at Boeing. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I live in Everett, right where the Boeing plant is. Right. And he was there where the guy flew the, did the barrel roll in the 707. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. See, and then if it's raining, I can go stay in the hot tub. There you go. You can have your own rise. The outdoor deck. I mean, we got a killer deal. Uh, oh, nice. Look at that big old tub. Oh, is that a sink? Uh, yeah, a not, a, not a gimp-friendly tub there for me. I'm like, oh, how, how do I get my leg in there? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. So I'd be out there fishing. Taking some pictures. <laughs> yep. Yeah, see, and then we got a great deal, and I just can't wait to go. And it was just awesome. one of those things that, that we uh, kind of lucked into. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm looking forward to going there because I, I told Billy and Ken about it earlier. I was like, y'all been giving me a hard time about flying over water, so I'm going to go fly over water. <laughs> I'm even going to take the Phantom Four up there. Oh, there you go. Everything I can fly. Then John Coopy was like, Oh, Scottio in the water, Scottio in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. what to see. I might not fly Scottio over water. I don't know. What and you bring your pups with you too? We're taking everyone. We're taking all our clients. We're taking the puppy dogs. We're taking, we're closing the house down for about five days and we're just going to go about, about 60 miles north and just kind of be away from everything. Oh, nice. 
Nice. So, yeah, we're, we're renting the house. We're going to have it go ahead and pay to have the food stocked and everything. So basically, we're just going to go up there for four days and stay. Awesome. Don't awesome. worry about answering any phone calls or anything going on in the neighborhood or any of that craziness till we get back. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yep, I'm looking forward to that. Yep. Oh, God. Can you hear my wife? She's going, baby, are you watching Channel 4? No, baby, I'm not. What's on? <laughs> She's not answering me. Maybe I need to turn on Channel 4. The governor's probably saying something about changing uh -oh. our, our health codes again. Uh-oh. Well, it's just it, because we keep going up and down and up and down and up and down. With our, we do really uh, good for a week or two, and then the next week it's like there's a party somewhere and everybody's got it. Right. If he's going to take a while to heat up. So I don't know. So what's up yeah. with you, Art? How old are you, Art? Where are you originally from, Art? How many drugs <laughs> do you have, Art? What do you fight today, Art? <laughs> I'm 60 years old and I'm from Colorado. I, I lived in Michigan for 10 years, came back in 81. And how many drones do I have? I have a, a bunch. I've got, well, I've got the Autel Evo. I've got, well, I've got a Mavic Air 2 coming, and I've got a uh, uh, Tiny Hawk oh, 2. Stuff going on in the city. Oh, <laughs> another riot. Oh, They're nice. Riot. Well, wonderful. Yeah, we had a, a bunch of idiots show up at the Capitol last night. Yeah, I saw. Well, we knew it was going to happen, so it's just going to happen. Yep. You know, I don't know. We just got to wait till something. I don't know. Anyway, besides that, I don't want to bring politics because that's tomorrow's show. <laughs> that's tomorrow's show. Now I have a uh, nano drone, which is a little bit smaller than the drone that you have. Uh huh. And uh, I don't well, I mean, know. I've got these two. I've even got like this little guy. Oh, yeah. It's just like that one. Yeah. And then I have my SEMA X20. This is my one of my favorites, though. Oh, this, cool. Oh, is that a parrot? No, this one is, um, it's kind of built on the Tello frame. It's oh. got like Tello type motors. Uh, it was designed off of the Bolt B, and this one is actually called the Heliway. Um, and it, man, it'll fly like 45 miles an hour. This cool. little drone, I mean, it will haul. And I, I just well, love, love that. I have the the parrot swing. I've got the parrot uh, mambo, and then I have the parrot sumo, which is the two wheeled uh, jumper. The jumper, yeah. and then I have my uh, five inch quad, which hopefully I'll get to fly in a few months once I get enough confidence to fly it. Uh, you, it's not as bad as you think. Once you get to Cause I mean, you can you can fly in, you know, horizon mode or something for a yeah. while. You get used to it and everything. Also, so here you go. How about this guy? Oh, cool! This is oh. the, the the Cheerson. What is it? I can't remember. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, it's it's a nice little GPS drone. It flies about oh, cool. fifteen minutes. It's got some inverted props on the back. See? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. All right. Are those brushless motors? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. cool. Yep, it's a stout little, I mean, I don't think you can buy them anymore. Right. Like I buy all the, the discontinued drones. Oh, did you see the little, um, what is it, the Mavic Air? No, excuse me, the Mavic Mini clone that actually has optical flow on it. It's like no. 30 bucks. Banggood what? had it for a little while. Wow. They had, they had one. This one's 4K. It uses two cameras. It's got like a, you have to adjust the camera yourself. Right. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I'll just look in my hmm. It was like 30 bucks. So wow. Like, interesting. Up on that, man. Oh, and then I have a Bugs 3. I have one, two, three Bugs 3s. Oh. Yep. Three of them. I got two of them that they're. Did you ever see the the box bugs threes that came with like a box backpack that you could wear? Yeah. Yep, I got two of those. I got a good deal on them. It cool. was like like right before all this 
craziness went on. And remember, you could get drones off of like Vipon and all that stuff for like twenty five dollars and fourteen dollars, and because they were selling like right and left, and then it, that all that changed. But um, wow, where is this going? That's not what I told you. Well, with my Buds Three, I went out and got a FPV uh, camera for it. And but the problem is, I, I got one. <laughs> Oh, it's come back up now. It's, it's got the the right plug, but it's too short. Oh, it's like wow. about about an inch or three quarters of an inch too. The yeah, the cable's not long enough. Wow, that kind of bites. So, so I gotta figure out how to make uh, an adapter that has the female so on one end and the male on the other end. I think you would probably be better off just putting a new line, a new cable on it if you can. Uh, yeah. Let's see. This is it right here. It's gone up to forty-two dollars now, but see, it's got optical flow. It's got a four K camera. Uh, cool. It's not bad for. I, mean, I got it for for thirty bucks, like cool. two weeks ago. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. See, it looks just like a Mavic Mini, man. Yeah, but the cheapo toy version, and it's a little look at look how tiny the optical flow camera is down there. <laughs> itty bitty man, but I mean, wow. if you're in full position, that's cool. But it looks look how much it looks like a mini. Yeah, it does. Pretty wow, cool, pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, what's my so okay? I can hear Taglish going on. <laughs> well, my wife is talking well, to family. Oh, so, did, you, did you see that? Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Did you see that what we have been, what we got a hold of, the like the little indoor Korean barbecue things? No. Yeah, we I had posted some of it on my Facebook channel. It's actually oh. a little like a like a little I don't know one burner grill, one one burner stove, and then we actually bought the Korean plate. You know, like you get if you use in the Korean restaurant. And wow, so we cook our own in the house, and so we tried to figure out because my birthday's in August, my daughter in law's birthday's in August, my grandson's birthday's in August. So we're trying to figure out a way that we could all celebrate together. So we got three of them, and we're going to separate each other's family, and they're going to have their own little grill that they can. Do. Oh, nice! But we can still be together and be safe. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that too. Well, you, I'm hoping you, that. Uh, okay, go ahead. Next, sorry. next month I'll be able to get a ticket to fly to the Philippines next February. We've got like, I don't know. We got a lot of money, like points saved up to where we didn't get to go. We were going to go to California in right. April. And then, of course, that all got shut down. Yeah. So rather than give us our money back because we weren't allowed to go anywhere, they're like, oh, we're going to give you miles, but you have to spend them in a certain amount of time. And I'm like, what? Right. <laughs> I got forced to stay home, and now you're telling me you're going to keep my money because I was forced to stay home. Yeah. Yeah, I had that happen with Frontier Airline. I was supposed to go down to Florida and – uh, uh so I got to use that up before the end of the year. Huh? What kills me is they won't give you your money back. And yet here in another four or five months, they're going to be like, please help keep us open. And I'm like, well, give me my damn money back and I'll give you some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to say it because like I said, it's not that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drone show. A drone. Show. There we go. But I still think that uh, that we're going to see the DJI FPV drone around September. It's going to have an ion battery in it, like what Mitch made. It's going to fly for about thirty minutes. It's going to be a Cinewhoop type thing uh, with that new little stabilized camera that we saw in it. It's going to put out some incredible images. The big thing is, if you think about it. And that's what I was talking to John and the guys about earlier is the reason I think that DJI is going to put out a, uh, a an FPV drone or a Cinewhoop is right. because every other field DJI has control of, right? They put out the best product. They've got the best large drones. They've got the best mid-sized drones. They've got the best yeah. small drones. 
Okay. Now, if DJI is planning on breaking into the FPV field, they mm-hmm. need somewhere that they can get the DJI stranglehold. Yeah. Cine whoops, because Cine whoops do stabilized video. They're even playing around with gimbals and stuff. Right. Now. So DJI can put together a perfect pre-packaged gim- uh, gimbal uh, Cine whoop or stabilized Cine whoop with right. a round controller and even goggles and sell it at a phenomenal price that these other places cannot do. Right. Right. And they'll, right. they'll get into the field and they'll go full bore and they'll get like, you know, Mr. Steel and they'll get Drew from Rotor Right and they'll get, you know, all those people involved. Oh, Nurk, yeah. Yeah, and they'll get all them involved and they'll say, Okay, we've played at it before, we've farted around before, but we really want you all guys to help us design the absolutely best production racing drone on the market. Because a lot of people don't seem to realize that the DRL, all those drones are the same. They're the same frames. They're the same. Yeah. It's just a matter of skill because they're trying to see who can race better. So uh, you get to put your own tune on it, but everything else is just like NASCAR. It's all the same. So you yeah. can work it however, you can work it however, and that's how you get the wins. Mm-hmm. So people are, you know, they're saying, oh, they'll never compete. And I'm like, well, they will if they're building a basic chassis, you know, race drone. And I right. think can beat, and I think consumers will like it. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. I don't think we'll see Mavic 3 until if we're very, very lucky Christmas time and it won't arrive until January. Yeah, that, that sounds right. I mean, yeah, I the, think we'll hear the nice, Go ahead. nice thing about the uh, Mavic Air 2 is uh, I'll be able to take that with me to the Philippines and get some really awesome video down there. Yeah. I don't know for sure if we're going next year or not. I don't know. I know we're planning. We were going to go this year, but again, everything got slammed and stopped. Yeah. Uh, so is your wife, she's from Luzon? She's from Manila. Yeah. Okay. That's on Luzon. Yep. Well, I, I don't know. Just, I just know she's got family. There's a Manila. gazillion islands there. Well, uh, I've never been. She keeps talking oh. about me going. So. Oh, you got to go. Well, <laughs> We're yes. trying, Art. We're trying, but the airlines won't give us our money back, and we're not sure when we're going to go. <laughs> well, uh, you're in a good spot because you could fly from Seattle to to Seoul, South Korea, or to uh, Tokyo, and then down to Manila. Yeah. Uh, I'm going down to uh, Mindanao, so I'm going down to the southern part of the country. I think we're, she's told me about it. We're, when we go over there the first time, we're going to go and stay at one of the resorts, you know, with full blown air conditioning. Nice. Oh, cold. yeah. So, like my poor wimpy, Kai. Well, yeah. my, my wimpy butt won't handle that weather the first time. I need to kind of get acclimated first, you know, because <laughs> I'm probably just going to, I'll be like Frosty the Snowman and melt. Well, go in February or early part of the year. Where it's uh, it'll be in the 80s and it doesn't get really super hot until about March and April, and then, then you go into the rainy season, and that goes on until about September, or October, and then it starts cooling down again. Yeah, well, then I'll, sub- I'll, I'll, my wife will plan all that, especially <laughs> her trip to go home. All this, well, like, I've been to. Home. I've been to Mindoro, which is the just a little island south of uh, Luzon there, and uh, there's a nice resort there called Bad Lads, and uh, food is pretty decent there. Uh, another place would be oh, go to Palawan and go to Porta Princesa, and uh, did you already call? I said hey, you saying hi, Arco. Hi, Bill from Coast to Coast Drums. I see Jay Bird. I see Agent K. Yep. Andrew, Andrew Sipperfox. Bob Casey, welcome. Welcome to the show. United We Drone. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, my girlfriend, she's in on the island of Mindanao, and she's on the, the north west side of the island. But I have a goddaughter in Davao City, mm. which is uh, 
the big city on Mindanao, and that's where the president's from. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to go there for a couple days, see my goddaughter, and then uh, go see my girlfriend, and uh, then uh, head back to, uh, you know, Luzon. I have some friends up there. I'm going to try and visit uh, James Tanner at at his house in oh, uh, Lipa yes, Gary, City. we see you. <laughs> yeah, we see you, Gary. <laughs> he said you uh, can't see me. Okay, well, here's my next question, Art. When are we going to see you on 90 Day Fiance? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> probably won't bring her here because with all this craziness going on here, I don't know if She's well, got two little. You ain't got to bring her here to get on the show, Art. Y'all just got to tell them you're gonna get married, and that you want to bring her here, and then they'll just they'll follow you around with the cameras and everything. <laughs> they'll, they'll do all that with you, and then we'll get to see you on on there, and then then after that they bring you on for the reunion shows and the ah, after shows and all that, and then you just be rolling in the dough, and your YouTube channel will be huge because the whole time you can be saying, "And I have Art Co Drone Solutions." <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hurt to apply to see what happened. There you go. I mean, remember what happened last time when we were talking about you're like, I don't know how I'm going to get to spin up. And then we're like, just tell everybody the truth and start a GoFundMe. And you went. Yep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm just saying, that, you know, as long as you're straight with people, they tend to be like, yeah, we'll help out if we can. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Uh, well, you know, Greg Cooner, he's. His fan, his wife's family has a resort there, and uh, maybe I'll see if I could stay there for a couple of days. Yeah, but everything's so much cheaper over there, man. Oh. Are you, well, you, have you looked at the the peso? I mean, it's down like 40, 47 to to one. It was up as high as fifty one to yeah, one. I remember that. So it's kind of yeah, as high as fifty five. <clears throat> oh wow yeah but that's probably been eight months ago like right yeah. before, like january before all this got started yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. for any of y'all that don't know we were just talking about the exchange rate for the peso to the dollar yeah because <laughs> we're we're talking about because we were talking about how you can go over there and for what like you spend what five six hundred dollars for a couple of nights here over there you're staying in a luxury suite for a week <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. that's right that's right so. And, uh, oh, they've got some beautiful places to go there. Like Surigao. Yeah. Anywhere. <laughs> uh -oh, what are they saying? They're doing something else now. Oh, Which Gary case? Patrick, he blew his cover. <laughs> uh, the Filipino peso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason it's called peso because it used to be a Spanish colony before we took it away uh, at the uh, the end of the 19th century. Manny Pacquiao will be president someday. <laughs> I think it's possible. I really I mean, yeah, he's a senator right now. So yeah. I, I'm trying to get him on Artco. At least I, they got back with me. I sent him an email and he said, well, you know, We'll take a look at your channel and uh, we'll, we'll work something out. Wow. There's something if you can get him to come on. Oh, man. That that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Uh, I guess we're just uh, not rich enough, though, to get people like Ed Ricker on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have had Rick on my, my Ed, channel. Ed Ricker on your channel? Ed Ricker, yep. Yeah, he won't come on my channel. He's, he's too good for me. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, guys, just he's like when I, I've invited him, and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna keep inviting you to come on. And he finally just said, no, I don't want to come on your show. And I was like, oh wow, man, why didn't you like say this like two years ago instead of like <laughs> leading me on? Like I had a yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the cute <laughs> gal that you asked to okay. go out with. I can't take it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, like how did you uh, meet your Asawa? Uh, actually, it's from an online website oh. called 
What was it called? I don't even remember. Filipina Christians? No. It was Tagged. T-A-G-G-E-D. Tagged. Oh. I was living. I was living in Georgia. I'm gonna tell you. Here you go. You gonna get a good story of this. I was living in Georgia. I was working on a road construction crew. We were working out there on the main highway in the middle of that crazy traffic, like four and five in the morning because it was so hot. And yeah. the guy was riding with back and forth to work. It was like, dude, man, you gotta hook up with all these women. There's, they're like all these women on tag, man. You can find all these women, and they'll like send you pictures and stuff and all kinds of stuff. I was like, oh, man, what the heck, you know? So I signed up, and you know, it was a little crazier than what I was expecting, a little bit rowdier than what I was expecting. But I just kind of happened upon my wife, and um, so we started talking back and forth. And then she's like, well, I have a Facebook page. And then we got on a Facebook page. And from Facebook page, we went to Skype. And we talked on Skype for about four or five months. Yep. And then uh, at the time, I was living with my cousin. And I didn't. I was paying most of my money into rent and stuff. So she came to me. She came to me in Georgia. And wow. then we, were, we realized that we basically couldn't stay with my family. So yeah. we up everything and moved out here and have been here ever since. That was like if, 11 years ago. Huh, cool. Yes, it made me cry because <laughs> I'm not good enough for his presence. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe that was a dick move. Sorry. Maybe that was a dick move. But <laughs> I don't know. I think you'd have fun. Hell, everybody has fun on my channel, just like they do on ours channel. Hey, uh, speaking of the Philippines, <laughs> we have James from my PI Dream. No, he's from Mars Welcome Green. to the show. Hey, greeting, guys. James. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yeah, shirt. we hear you. Yeah. I'm actually I'm, I'm actually cooking breakfast. You start you start your show too early for me, Art. It's, uh, <laughs> so we're in, we're in the kitchen now, as you know. So you know what Sundays are here, right? You no, know, Sundays yep. are our waffle day. You know, yeah, that's for, right. For my wife, for my wife. Nessa. Hello, Ness. So uh, you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm, I, I will join you for just a few moments here while I'm doing the cooking, but it's gonna be part of the cooking if you don't mind. Well, okay. now I gotta say magadang umaga. Wow. That's that's right, magadang umaga from here, and I guess it's uh, magadang gabi at your area, huh? It's that, in the evening that's time. Right. Oh, I'm still, my wife still refuses to teach me to go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bill from Coast to Coast Drones, his wife is a Filipina. Yeah, she's from Manila. Uh, well, I, Jay, I just dropped in. I heard you guys starting talking about things about the Philippines and down in Mindanao and uh, Davao. So what's going on? Uh, when are you going to get over here, Art? Well, I'm planning on going in February, right around the, the middle of the month, just before uh, uh, Valentine's Day. And I'll take about two weeks off Baby. from work Thank and uh, go down to uh, Devao to see my uh, goddaughter down there and then go over to Dipolog to see my girlfriend. Poison. They're in the Philippines. And then head back uh, up to <laughs> Manila, to and I got to stop by and see you guys. Yeah, I, heard, and, uh, I, heard, I heard you mention that. Ah. Hi. <laughs> Greetings. How are you? <laughs> she says, there, there she is. There. Oh, come by. <laughs> it's my Asawa over here. Yeah, yeah. Asawa. Where? San Pinas. Pinas. Here in Lipa City. Lip, Lipa? Lipa City, Batangas. Oh, that's Batangas, right? Where are you hiding? <laughs> Our Batangas. I've been there. Yes, wow. in February, and he's talking of there. We were talking about different things to do and what was going on. And I told him that you were planning stuff that we just hadn't been able to go yet. Yeah, we're trying to take things together. Now well, I can't go because of. I'm a citizen, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because of the pain in the butt now, because we have to get like a, a visa to go now. Oh. Because Duterte, didn't Duterte change the law? 
Because so she, we have to get what was it you were saying? Explain that. Because she's a U.S. citizen now. Uh, yeah. It, well, I don't know. I don't know with her being U.S. U.S. citizen, but she is. She is a uh, natural born Filipino. Yeah. I yeah. think there's some allowances that they do for them. She could come back in, but you wouldn't be able to come in right now. We have people here who are purchasing lots in our subdivision here, and they're asking the question because they want to start building very soon. And they're asking the question, so what we keep doing, we keep going on all the, the travel advisories, both on the, uh, the Philippine embassy, we look at the U.S. embassy. We have a friend uh, who's building right across from us right here, our house. He's from Canada, and I got a message from him. I got a message from him yesterday, and he asked us uh, what, because he, he's supposed to be here now. Uh, the builder went over there yesterday. The builder did a... A uh, survey of a lot with a little survey thing, and uh, because they actually wanted to start building, I think, uh, in the, like in the next two months or so. Uh, but I don't think he can come in. I don't think he can get into the country right now. She, I think she could. I think it since she is a. Uh, she a, has Filipino a, a Philippine. No, like you, you don't have a Filipino. You are you a dual citizen or are you a U.S. citizen only? Yes, just U.S. citizen. So, oh, okay. yeah, so I think I think what Filipinos who have a foreign passport now, you might be able to get in. It's difficult. You have to check on the travel advisories, but there's like a 14 day you would be stuck in Manila for like 14 days up in NCR. And then you but I, your husband wouldn't be able to come in. I'm sure he can't come in right now. Yeah, from what I read, yeah. it's only Filipino nationals. Uh, so maybe you can even with the maybe with the can, U.S. naturalized. You can come back if you leave. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's kind of it's really messed up right now. It's uh, I. What? You just have to keep looking at the travel advisor. Because I don't have Filipino passport. Well, you know what? You know what? Here's my thing. Considering all the craziness that's going on, eventually they're gonna need money, and they're gonna open the doors and say, "Give us your money." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's I think, true. I think there, I think there is some tourism being allowed right now, but I think you have to. It, it depends on countries and stuff like that. Like I said, you have to. It changes about every two weeks. It changes. What they do, they do an update for the uh, the quarantine. Um, they have they have like right now we are in modified general community quarantine, uh, MGCQ. We went. We came from that before we were in that. We were in enhanced. Uh, before we were in that, we were in general, general community quarantine. It changes based on the numbers that come back and your area because wow. not all provinces uh, are in the same quarantine. Actually, local areas of certain provinces are in different quarantine uh, um, statuses, like up, in, like up in the Manila area, the, the Manila and the Quezon and some place, even Batanga City, we're part of, we're Batangas. Batanga City is only maybe 20, 30, about 20, 30 kilometers away from us. But I think they're in a a, a stricter level of quarantine right now than we are right wow. here. I think they might be going back into a lockdown down there. Oh, oh wow. boy. What would probably be like the end of next year before we're able to go? So they've already cleared you for February, Art? Maybe, maybe it might be a pain uh, for you too. I don't know, but, uh, well, the, my finances will be in uh, very good shape by uh, next month, so I'll be able to get a, a ticket and uh, uh, get, get a flight to Manila, and then I got to get on, uh, what is it, uh, Cebu uh, Pacific and fly down to, uh, to uh, Mindanao. I understand all that art, but unless the regulations change, yeah, that's true. Anyway. That's true. <laughs> so, so, so your finances are going to be doing that good. Does that mean that you're a YouTube millionaire these days? Are you yeah. really I mean, look at look at my uh, my apartment here. You know, I got got the grand piano, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I got to ask you, N Ness and I, we're, we've got a debate. Is that really your apartment, or is that like one of the green screen things? It, it's a green screen. Oh, it's a green screen. Oh, yeah. you know, she, I just, then I win. I win because she said, "No, that's his. That's his real apartment." No, I wish. I could <laughs> <in the background." laughs>
It's part of the StreamYard app, the one that we're using right now. It's one of the backgrounds because I, I recently purchased a green screen and I, I put up the background. And when I was on, I told everybody I snuck into Art's house. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I got to thank you, Art, for the uh, the information. Remember last week I asked oh, you, yeah, that's what, right. what are you using with your microphone and your, your streaming? Because you know, streaming has come a long way. It's come a long way. Yes, uh, you remember when I did the I did the live streaming event with Greg down in Australia, right? Right. And he's got a really complicated setup. I mean, oh, I, yeah. he has a he has a producer somewhere else, and yeah. I, I don't know what's going. On, but he has <laughs> so much so much equipment. I I really like this uh, this what is this stream 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 yard. Yard, stream yard. I like this because it's very simple. It's very yep. intuitive. And uh, mm. something for like a solo guy, like for myself, if I want to do, you know, um, one man band, I can do right. that. I can do that myself. So what I did, I played around in the background and I did a, I, I set an event up. I did it private, like it says for you doing, for trying, and it all worked really good. And so I want you to be, uh, I want you to be my first, uh, uh, my first person on a, at a live streaming event. Maybe next week, maybe, maybe even next weekend, maybe we'll put something together like that. Awesome. I, saved, I saved some of your your comedy, uh, your comedy <laughs> uh, clips that you oh, have thank on YouTube. You. What I did was I edited some of those, and what we'll do is we'll present those. The only thing, the only thing, I'm not really, I'm not really mm, happy with, or, or I wish they had more capability, is on the. On the uh, the yard stream or the stream yard, on the stream yard, I wish they had it where it was very easy for you to easily grab a clip and bring bring over. You have to you you can do that. You can bring that from one of your screen, right. one of your apps. You can do it from one right. of your apps. But to, to uh, it, it just needs to be a little easier. To well, it bring. just takes practice. Just like, just like bringing in what you did with me when you brought me into mm -hmm. today's episode with you inside here. It needs to be very simple, very intuitive to do that. Uh, but for free, I have the free version. I, I, right. I, Same I, here. here. Here's my – oh, here's, here's, here's the free one because I see yep. the uh, little powered by yep. up there. The little yeah, the little duck up there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's very good, and the price is right. So. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes. And, you, yeah, you can have up to six people on on – yeah, and the show. version only six because you can have yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. They're right. I'm I'm going to get out of your your little uh, video chat right here. I'm okay. going to keep you on, but we're going to go out on the back porch and we're going to have you our bring this. We're, we're going to have we're going to have breakfast. Now he doesn't he doesn't want to be asked to be eating in the background. I, 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 I ate my dinner <laughs> earlier. I ate two <laughs> coffee, and everything while I was on earlier. I did this. I hit I, I hit over here. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I, that's how I ate. That's, that's exactly how I ate. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you for bringing me yeah. into uh, your your little live stream here this morning. Well, thanks and, for coming. Uh, I will set up. I will set up with you uh, for you being our first guest on our next uh, awesome. our very, very first live streaming using this uh, uh, streamyard. Okay. Wonderful. Look forward <laughs> right. to it. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll catch up with yeah. you later. See ya. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike uh, my wife that she needs to come on and stream with me more. There she, you go. And uh, that, that home that uh, he lives in, he uh, designed and built. And uh, I started watching his channel about three and a half years ago when he broke ground on the property. And I... Every day I was watching, you know, little by little how the house, it, it started off with a hole in the ground. And then they'd say, you know, there's, there's a foundation and then there's stuff going up. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, he, he's got a really good presence on uh, YouTube. In the last uh he just had a recent video up. He was talking about the the guy that wants to build the lot nearby. Where where uh, what was it? Uh, now I just had a brain fart there. Anyway, 
Uh, so you get, <laughs> but it, it, it was an interesting show. Now he does a lot of D, DIYs and stuff around the house. You, you ought to see his uh, backyard to where he's got fruit trees all over the place and, uh, and a raised bed garden. I mean, it's, uh, he's got stuff going on and, and uh, but he was uh, one of my guests early on, like a, a little over a year ago. I had him on, and boy, the, the quality was was not as good as it as it is right now. Streamyards, I mean, the the technology has gotten so much better over the last two years when when I started this channel. Mm -hmm. No, and I, you've I, been. Man. But the, the big thing is, is you got to stay dedicated and at yes. least at least put something out weekly. You know, mm -hmm. like right now, the only thing I do is drone therapy, but I do it every week. And right. like, we just went past 100 shows and my channel is like growing this much at the time. And this <laughs> my DJI battery start to melt. And then I suddenly get a lot of views on my channel. Yeah, there you go. But well, yeah. that, that's. That's like the, the, you know, my drone crash and I got a really good video and that's getting a lot of, a lot of views on that. But my number one video is my RoboMaster. Really? That's getting me the, the most uh, views. I haven't, um, I haven't done anything like that has gotten more than like a couple of thousand views. So right. none of mine's really gotten big yet, but I was talking to the guys. I was actually considering, of course, you know, I'm always considering something, but I never said <laughs> uh, like doing something. I thought about maybe doing like two or three minute long videos and I was just going to call them the bill report, you know? And then I there would, you go. Like I would do, I would say, and today's bill report is going to be on the Cheerson CXOF, you know, yeah. say a little that's, bit about it, fly around for a minute or two. And that would be it. And that's today's that, bill report. You know, that's what I do uh, now and then. And now I'm, I'm going to do a, comparison of the Autel Evo to the Mavic Air 2 and that's going to be here in in a few days so I'm really looking forward to that uh, so tomorrow morning going to get up early and then I'm going to get out the Autel Evo and uh, fly that around and uh, talk about uh, you know how the controller works and uh, neat thing about it, it's got its own little screen on it so you could fly it with yeah. without uh without the phone but uh, what i'll do is i'll do one with the phone and one without and uh fly it around and then we'll we'll compare the video quality of the two different drones and uh and compare the flight characteristics and uh, and uh how ergonomic the the controllers are now like like this one you know i've got screwed up fingers here this is just perfect for me it's almost like having uh you know a game pad yeah it's a little yeah. bit bigger and i could just do that and uh you know there's the wheels up here that that's going to take me a while to get used to that but hey that's the same with the old mavic air that i had so uh, I missed out. What you know? I I know that Sean came on and was like, "Oh no no no! You got to send me the Evo back when the Mavic Air 2. And so what was what happened there? So I, I thought that he just gave you the Evo to replace the Mavic Air. So how did uh, you the Mavic Air two? Yeah. The well, I I, uh, I don't know. I'm just so trying to get the rest of the story. He gave me the, the Evo, and then I, a couple days ago, I get a, a, a message from Ken Dono, say, watch my show. Uh, uh, we're going to be talking about you and Sean. And he goes, by the way, I need your address. Okay. And that, that I knew something was going, I'm getting something. Right. And I'm like, going, hmm, I wonder what it is. Am I getting, well, I, I, one of them was the, the Mavic Air 2. Am I going to get a Mavic 2 Pro Zoom? Or maybe I'll get the underwater drone that he has. Right. Or 
I don't know. Maybe I, I, I knew I was getting something cool. And then when I knew that it was the Mavic Air 2, I, yeah. Oh, Which, so Kim uh, you the Mavic Air 2. Kim Dar- who, who Dono you? gave, yeah. He gave Very me the Mavic Air 2. And uh, so I'm getting that. And I, I, I don't, <laughs> I guess there, there's a, a, something going on, you know. I think Sean really wants his Evo back, so okay, maybe we'll we'll do a video where I'll I'll, I'll give him kind of well here's your Evo too, and he'll he'll take it, and I'm, I'll I'll just keep holding it. No, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. mine. You yeah. gave it to me. Well, I, I, I see another thing too, though. I think that th- that you may be getting uh, Ken's demonstrator model from Drumworks. So yeah, I, I they can actually it. write it off. Ah, Can't get a brand new one. You got you go. own. It didn't really hurt them any. Yeah. Everybody's good. So you know, sure. I mean, I don't know for a fact that's how it happened, but that, yeah. I'd say that's a good possibility. Yeah, because yeah, Drone Words was uh, one of the other people that uh, yeah. So I think you're right about that. So cool. Well, because it's like Ken's always, you know, he's like because Ken get got rid of his Scadio because he didn't see it doing real estate footage and real estate video, right. but drone works at the office has a Scotty O2 that he could use whenever he wanted to. So that's ah, why he didn't feel I so see. bad about getting rid of it to begin mm-hmm. with. He could still update the one at the shop. He could still keep everybody up to date on what was going right, on. Right. 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 Feel it was capable of doing real estate work. Well, and plus he, he got rid of his, uh, Mavic 2 Pro Zoom, he got rid of that, and and he did a, a video about it just uh, that came out today, and, and I guess he was having issues with the battery, and I think that was one of the three things that, why he got rid of it. Well, here's the thing. I love Ken Dono to death, but I've seen how battery maintenance is a big thing. And if you don't follow battery maintenance, you're going to swell your batteries. You're going to get dead flights out of your batteries because I've seen a lot of these guys, they'll take the battery out, they'll let it cool for like a minute and then they'll slap it on the charger. That's going to make a battery's life go down. Uh, yeah, that made sense. Yeah. So you, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I know a lot of people, especially if they're busy working and they're going to the next shot, as soon as they get done, they pull it out, they slam another one in and they take it and slam it straight on the charger. While that battery's still hot, and that's going to cause it to not charge properly, that's going to cause it to swell, you know. And, and I didn't know that to begin with. I did not know that to begin with. John Coopy is the man who started instructing me on battery maintenance. Oh, ah, nice, nice, nice. You're going to lose the life of your batteries if you don't treat them properly. Right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and none of, none of my Phantom Four batteries are swollen. None of my Mavic 2 batteries are swollen. You know, I did have a Mavic Air 2 battery that started heating up to the point where it melted the plastic. But, wow. you know, DJI said, just don't fly that battery. You're fine with the others. So they sent me a replacement and it's all good. So I don't know. You know that's mm-hmm. just- yeah. So, uh, Intos is saying the smart battery won't charge until it's cool. I, I still just I still think that it can that it, it, you need to let it cool all the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I totally that's make what it. I do. I, I let my batteries cool down and then I charge. So but I can understand the need to you know have. Well, a, that's why you have more than one battery. You know, you know, with the the Mavic Air that I had, I had three batteries. So. Uh, I normally I would just use two of them and I'd have that third one and I'm like on oh, it's hardly getting any uh any uh use out of so four eyed canine oh yeah so I had supposed to charge your batteries till the day you go out that with you right. charge them up and then let them go down and charge them up and let them go down and charge them up and let them go down that's gonna kill them too yep yep so I mean, I, and I was the same way. I would come home, I'd let them cool off, and then I'd charge them up because I was thinking, okay, I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And like he said, life happens and you don't get to do it. And then, yeah. well, you're going to kill your batteries that way, dude. And I'm yeah. like, what do you mean? And I'm like, they're smart batteries. You know, they're smart. They're not going to. Yeah, they're smart, man. And he was like, no, you're going to kill them, man. I'm telling you, you're going to kill them. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, so, yeah. but yeah, here's so, the the one that melted. I still have it. It's not a big melt, but it's it's enough to where you can see the melt going on. Oh yeah. And they uh, said replacement. Brand new, right here. There you go. So that cool, was cool. Cool. It only took six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that that's going to be a great drone when I I'm in the Philippines because it's small enough I could throw it in the, my backpack and uh, take it around. And, you know, uh, the uh, Autel Evo, uh, it's just a little bit longer than the Mavic Air, but it's thicker, mm -hmm. and because of the battery and uh, but it's got a. Oh, it's are what a drone? Are you just getting a drone or are you getting a fly more combo? I'm getting the fly more combo. Okay, so you're gonna have those filters. What I would advise before you go to the Philippines or for that matter anyway, is just picking you up another set of like Freewell or something like that. Right. With mm -hmm. the basic filters. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's yep. cool. I like the little filter pack. I just haven't ever tried putting them on myself. Yeah. Well, on on the Mavic Air, I went out and uh uh, got a, a pack of filters. It came with a CP filter, a UV filter, and then uh, four ND filters going from, let's see, there's a 4, 8, 16, and then uh, 32. Yeah. And, uh, you know, up here in Colorado, you get a lot of UV rays, and, and the sun is just really intense. I use the the 32, 32 or the 16, quite a bit. Unless I'm doing like really early morning stuff, then I, I might put a four on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, we've done uh, two hours and so it's, it's about time to shut this puppy down and I can go grab some dinner and, uh, Kind of relax a little bit, and uh, so I can just throw on the couch and let everything hang out. There you go, <laughs> uh, Bill. Thank you for uh, popping in. It was a pleasure having you, and uh, Very glad to be here, Art. And I hope to see everybody Wednesday so we can show off their channels and get crazy. There we go. There we go. And uh, and, and James, uh, uh, thanks for popping in. Uh, yeah, there he is. Be, my PI dream. Go. Check out his channel. He's got some really cool stuff. He flies the Phantom 4 Pro. I think it's not you to, to subscribe to him before. I think I'm already subscribed to him. I'm okay, gonna... there you oh, go. I'm not, uh, I'm not, no, I'm so, not. There we go. Now it's taken care of. Wow, 30, almost 34,000? Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. See, I got, yeah, a nephew, I, I got a nephew over there with a Bugs 2. And he never flies it. He won't. He, he just like, oh, I can't fly it in Manila. There's nowhere I can go to fly it. And and it's been there for like two years. And I'm wow. actually afraid the battery's dead by now, and it won't even fly. Mm, yeah, that's true. There's so, uh, a lot of places to what's, go what's in the. Yeah, what's, just go down to the beach. What's your you friend know? again? James Tanner. Okay, James Tanner. Maybe James is if he's up in Manila, he can go by and see my nephew and say, "Hey, let's go fly that bugs too." <laughs> I'm sending people because we still have family that lives in Manila. Uh, my nephew's there, uh, sister-in-law's there. You know, a lot of family there. That we actually have a, a family home there. My family, mm -hmm. my wife does. So uh, we're just trying to get, and he he's just very shy. So I've been trying to find people to fly with him and stuff, but he just. <laughs> It just never does. Well, check out uh, Sparkfly Jeff. He's out of Kazan City, which is north of Manila. And he he does Sparkfly. some Sparkfly Jeff. That, that's with one F. Ah, J E F. Okay. I think you uh, you prom promoted on your channel when I came on. And I said, check out this channel. And you. Uh, Threw it up on the, the screen there. And this guy does some really neat stuff with, with just spark. I mean, 
Yeah. So, so one more thing for a takeoff. I saw Bob Casey earlier was saying that he was he loved the T-shirt that I sent him and everything. And I, I haven't even gotten one of those T-shirts yet. And I really want one because I think that logo on the back is so okay. cool. The one. Have you ever seen the one? It's the drone therapy T-shirt. It's just got the. It's got like the the you know the 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 medical symbol, but instead it's like drones at the top. Oh, I don't think I have. Really? Okay, hang yeah. on. Let me let me do something here. I thought you had seen this. Let me show you here. Okay, real quick. One more share screen, and then I will stop. Okay. Large channel. <laughs> See, that's a. I, I oh, love Oh, yes, I have. Yes. That I have, is neat. Yeah, I just, I, I want to get one for myself. I haven't gotten one yet. Because, see, that that logo is the season five logo. And if, if anybody's watched the show for a while, they know that I tend to, like, the last logo was going to be the logo for the, the, the next year. And then right. the ending logo. That's what I, my mm -hmm. thing. But anyway, thank you very much, Art. I was very, I had a great time being on. You know, and I'm glad to have been here. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll check you out on Wednesday. And thanks for, again for popping in. You have a great evening. You too. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, said something while I went to Lazana. Delivery sheet. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, James, again, uh, thanks for popping on my channel. It was a pleasure having you on here. It's been a while. It's been over a year since you've been a guest on my channel. The channel has, has really uh, grown and changed over the over time where uh, I just had one guest on and did one-on-one. -on -one. Now we, we do a panel here. So uh, thanks for coming on. Steve Carpenter, uh, thanks for coming in. Agent K, uh, for I... Four Eyed Canine, Michigan Adventures, Bob Casey, Jay Bird, Tom Tentos, Steve Mack. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, it was a great show. So take care. We'll see you all next week. Bye bye.